Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill Russatella. With me, as always, my main man, Rod Ogren, and we are, of course, StatStream. We're going to be a little bit rusty. I want to warn you right now, we're coming off a long Christmas holiday. I don't know if we're going to remember what's going on with this basketball sport, Rod. No, I'm not real sure. I think the ball's around, kind of orange-ish. Uh, they got three-pointers in this long. league? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. You foul out five fouls. <laughs> five fouls, you're, you're out. Five? Just, just get five. Just get five. Okay, all right. Eight-minute quarters, you know. We'll, we'll get it down. The green team is us. All right. Well, I know, I know the green team is us. So the Vikings, we're just going over here, coming off a – Road trip in a tournament down in where were they down in North Carolina? Hilton Head Island. Hilton yeah. Head, yep. So that's it. Down, nice. down there right before Christmas. Right before Christmas, one two out of three down there. Before that, they had a victory over Broad Run, 77-66. The last game that you and I did was Coach Dawson's 400th victory. A Against, against Woodgrove, the Crosstown rival. That's right, against Woodgrove. Against Woodgrove, which is also their only common opponent tonight. So Valley beat them by 15 back on the 13th of December, and Stonebridge played them just uh, last week, actually, yep. January 3rd, and beat them by 10. So based on that, should be a good game. My son, Willie Dog, went to that Stonebridge Woodgrove game. He was doing a sleepover. So we're back in not action here. Not at the here. game, though. He's not at the game right now. No, <laughs> no he didn't have a sleepover at the game. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh -oh. do national anthem. We're going to go on mute here. <laughs> All right. Sorry for the only partial flag there. This is uh, some of these booths are a little bit limiting in what you, what, you, what you can see. And then you might have seen also the uh, stands are literally right outside of our window. So if excited fans stand up, your vision gets blocked. But we try to prevent that. Well, the worst thing is this gigantic window that has this screen on it that I can't even see through. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. the worst thing. I was going to say, can you we can't, take this thing you out can't of here? go down there. Yeah, sure. Just, just, take, just take apart the Stone Bridge booth. I booth, cannot booth. stand that thing. <laughs> All right, you want to put on the warm-ups over here? Starting lineups? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Getting ready All right, for starting I'm going to have to come over here. I'm going to snuggle up with that's you. That's so fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. You can see the Vikings lineup out here. There's the coach's son, point guard Trent Dawson, number two. Number five, Umar Obeyed. There's Clyde the Glide Volker, another senior. Zion Ball getting a start tonight. Transfer senior. And there's the big condor himself, Cooper Tunnell, the big man in the middle, number 35. Head coach, of course, is Chad Dawson. Yeah, Zion Ball was in from, apparently he was here as a freshman, then he went to Oregon for a couple of years and then came back. And transferred back, right? All right, here's the Bulldog starting lineup. They're coached by Kent Kling. We don't have a number, number one on here. What is his but last he's a name? starter. Herberhard. Six two, number two, Jacob Thomas. Jacob Thomas, point guard, sophomore. A senior, number three, Michael Healy. So they're going with three guards. Well, that's the fourth guard they announced, so I guess they're going to play four guards. <laughs> Small ball. 
And there's the big man, Isaiah Rhodes. So they're going to go, uh, I guess, four small. Four small. There you go. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, they're coming in at six and two, same record as the Vikings. Their losses were to Loudoun County back in the, very early in the season on the 9th of December by 12 points, 59-67. And then they lost to Oakton on the 28th of December. They also got a couple out of town. They played Stonewall Jackson and Lake Braddock, which I believe are both 6A schools, and beat Stonewall very handily. And Lake Braddock, they, lost, they won by four. All right, so number so. one, I'm going to try to just get this name out of the way right now, Rod. Yeah. Dylan Hundertmark. Hundertmark, sure. Hundertmark. I'll go with Hundertmark. in there. He's uh, clearly a point guard. He's got some pink uh, shoes yeah. on. He's a little kid, isn't he? He looks like he's in my son's class. <laughs> who's in fifth grade I'm at guessing, I'm guessing he can handle the ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cooper's going to jump it up. He's going to lose the jump to Isaiah Rhodes, their big man. And Stonebridge will work it around the perimeter. And there's the little man right there himself, Hundertmark, over to 13. That's Jerome. No rush for the Baseline Stonebridge jumper. Offense. Passes it up. And now it takes a long jump. No good. It's short. Oh, and they throw it away. Tried to hit ball in the outlet. And then Stonebridge is going to get easy, too. Transition basket there. And that's the senior, Isaiah Rhodes, to put Stonebridge quickly up to nothing on the turnover. They tried to outlet the ball. He turned it over, and they had an easy transition bucket there, Rod. Yeah, he did. Who got that rebound? The mayor? Yep. Trent Dawson drives the lane, and he and Clyde wrestle for the own ball. <laughs> oh, Trent and Clyde had the rebound. <laughs> they, they were wrestling for it. I love to watch Coach Dawson's inbounds plays. I'm going to watch this one, see if I can't learn anything. Because <laughs> you're coaching fifth grade this year, right? Yep. And the high school. So right now, and I see that no one was going to inbound the ball, so they got that straightened out. <laughs> <laughs> Valley in the dark away green jerseys. I like these jerseys. Sharp-looking yeah, jerseys. Too. Got the black letters of the gold outline. Looks good out there. There's Obeyed in the corner. Kick it back out to Dawson. Clyde right in the middle. It's going to take a little 12-footer. And, oh, a little strong. Can't get it. Another offensive rebound. Oh, misses that one. Obeyed. And Stonebridge is going to – got a man in the corner. They don't see him. Now they get to him in the corner, and he'll take it. And oh, just a little mark. short. And Volker with the rebound there. Is that a three he tried? Yep. Dawson for two. Ties the game up. The defensive board was by Volker. Thank you. And there is my man Hunter Mark. And they'll work it around, do a little weave out in the perimeter. This kid's a sophomore, number one. It looks like he's off about maybe five foot even. He's, he's probably a little more than that, but he's not. I don't he's know not if over he five is. eight. I don't know. <laughs> if he he is. I, mean, he might, I might give him five eight, but probably like five six. Vikes in a little zone here. Instead like of playing a one three one zone. And there's another, that's our first three, I should say, by the senior guard, Michael Healy. And Stonebridge will go out on top five, the two after the three. So you'll see the clock is not running, but it's actually, we try to keep it pretty close. We don't have a camera for the clock tonight. Stonebridge so playing man. It there's a well. high screen by Coop. It's a nice screen. Coop frees up Dawson for his second bucket of the game. 5-4 Stonebridge. Uh, wide, wide open, open three again. No good. Dawson gets the board. He'll run it all the way to the hole. Up, and he's fouled. And he'll go to the line for two. Like a foul on Michael Healy. Yep, oh, on Michael. Jake, Jacob Thomas, excuse me, on the foul. You got it? Okay. Again, the clock. We're going to keep it as close as we can. We're down to five minutes and four seconds to go here in the first quarter. And Dawson has all five points for the Vikes. Yes, he does. <laughs> Last time we were at Woodgrove, I think he had about 23 that night. And now he's got all six, and he puts the Vikings up top, six to five. Nice defense there by Coop. Dawson will run it again. He's got ball in the corner. He tries to hit Volker down the middle, turns it over. 
Transition attempt for Stonebridge, up and good. That's Michael Healy again in transition. Well, looks like Stonebridge very content to run when they get the rebound, Rod. Yeah, that's they're slow on the on the half court offense, but yeah, when they get the rebound, they're just taking off. Uh oh, that's off of Volker. A little sloppy there as Clyde yep. turns it over. Cole Tunnell is going to check in along with number three, Avery Nance. Ball will come out. And who else came out? Avery Nance came in. I don't know who else came in. Uh, came Cole Tunnell came in. Okay, 33. Yep. Running a little high post action there. They're running, a, it looks like it's a 2 3 now, Vike Valley. Obey loses the rebound, but it'll go off of Stonebridge. So Zion Ball came out. Stonebridge takes their first time out. And that'll give us a chance to read a couple sponsors, if you don't mind there, Bill. You want me to read them all? Sponsors sit right there. we got two new ones at the bottom there. All right. Well, once again, we are those. StatStream. Our newest to join the StatStream team, Climatic Heating and Cooling. Serving Northern Virginia since 1990. A specialist in designing, installing, and servicing all of your HVAC systems. Committed to providing superior customer service. ClimaticVA.com and Cardinal Park Family Dental. CardinalParkFamilyDental.com. Looking for an experienced general dentistry. Passionate about helping your family enjoy a lifetime of happy, healthy smiles. Matter of fact, I am Rod. <laughs> And I'm well, going good. to switch my own services. The Russell Teller family is going to go to Cardinal Park Family Dental. Well, I was just there yesterday, as there a matter you of go. fact. Dr. Gary Ashton is a big Dr. fan of Gary the Dr. Gary Ashton. That's where big, I want to go. Big fan of the Vikings. Yep. I'm, we're going to go over there. All right. There's Trent up and good. Now he has all eight points. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think they know who they have to stop. <laughs> all right. Valley again in the 2-3 zone. And you can see right now that Cole Tunnell coming in there is taking away that baseline jumper. Also, after the timeout, number 30 is in oh, for the nice Vikings. Pass. Ben Hall is in the game now. So the Vikings with a really big advantage on the boards height-wise up front. The Tunnell brothers along with Ben Hall. So they're going at least 6-4 across the board up there. Yeah, yep. Go big. I didn't see you got the assist for Stonebridge, but that was a nice pass underneath. I can't see through this blinding uh, wind tunnel over here I have in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been called a foul. They let him go. It's no harm, no harm done. All right. Dawson. Oh, he had Cooper down low. There's a three by Nance. Whoa. Good. Wow. That was, that was a, a bomb. deep three. <laughs> I'll say. Deep three by Nance. Hey, no one came at him, so he took it. Yep. No way. Oh, that was a nice bucket. That was. Nice bucket there by Jacob Thomas, sophomore. Uh. Little reverse layup. Dawson goes behind his back. Now he's going to kick it back out himself and set up the Viking offense. And they'll run Cole Tunnell on the baseline into the corner. Try to get a little room there for Nance. It's 11 apiece. Oh, and Tunnell Cole loses. turns it over. Cole, yeah. And now oh. Nance is going to steal. Oh, they're going oh, to what call. What did they call? Oh, a kick. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, kick. that wasn't a foul. <laughs> no. That was good hustle. Checking in for Stonebridge is number 22. Luke Hughes and Clyde Volker back in for Valley. So now the front line will be Volker, Cooper Tunnell, and Cole Tunnell. In the backcourt, they got Nance and Dawson. Backdoor cut. Can't convert. Nice board there by Cooper Tunnell. If you're Stonebridge, you got to make those two footers like that. Nice dish from Dawson down low on the block to Volker. Up and good. 13 to 11, Vikes. A three from the little guy. That's Hunter Mark. Got it right, Hunter Mark. All right. I gotta get Hunter Mark in here. H U N D E R T M A R K. Yeah, I don't have him in the roster yet. I'll get him in. 
Ball goes out of bounds off of Stonebridge. Cole Tunnell comes out, and checking back in is Zion Ball. And get it into the elbow to Cooper. He's got a big height advantage there. Clyde's going to drive the lane to stop at the elbow and shoot. A little short. Rebound to Hughes. Outlet to Hunter Mark. Back to Thomas. He'll drive the lane up and good. That's Jacob Thomas. Ties it up at 13. Nance thought about it, but he'll set it back up. And it's over the ball, and he'll swing it back and set it up to Dawson. Little weave action with ball up top. Over to Volker. Nowhere to go. Tried to dump it down, but ball wasn't looking at him. That was Nance, I'm sorry. Dawson will drive the lane. Up and good. A nice floater by Trent Dawson. Check it in for Stonebridge. The Bulldogs is Paul Topple, number 14. And Michael Healy will come out. He had a nice beginning to this contest, Rod. Yeah, he did. There's only been one foul thus far. And we're almost done with the first quarter. It's kind of amazing. Wide open jumper by Rhodes. Cannot knock it down from the free throw line. Should have got that one. It's a nice dish there by Hunter Mark. And Valley will hold for the last shot. Shocker. <laughs> yeah, they like to do that, but there's only 20 <laughs> seconds left, so not too bad this time. I've not, seen them do that with a minute and a half. Not a minute a and a half annoying. this time. Yeah. <laughs> nice tight ball game, 15-13 in favor of the Vikes. Oh, Nance will shoot it. Got it. it. Another three for Nance. And that'll be the last bucket of the wow. first quarter. Good way to end it there. Vikings nice. uh, end it up 18 to 13. All right, we'll be right back. When we do rest Shane of the sponsors. Adams, Lydia Clark. I'm going to do a Lydia ad. Got a video ad. Lydia. Oh, it's like ESPN. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Sucks. All right. Well, try it again. All right. We're going. We are back live. Valley taking the ball inbounds. Start the second quarter. 16 or 18 13 our score. Missed the bucket. All right. Somewhere. Here we go. Second quarter action. Clyde Volker. Looks like he got fouled. No call. Definitely had some contact there on the body. Stonebridge will look to run again, but Valley's back nicely on defense. Nice shot there. Michael Jerome, Jerome, senior, knocks it down. Dawson, top of the key. He'll drive to the elbow. Dish down low to Volker. Nice Volker. block there by Isaiah Rhodes. Good defense by Stonebridge. And they'll run again. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebound to Nell. Looks like he got fouled. Nothing called there. Here comes Nance. Nance to Volker. And he put the ball down low. What is the big man not supposed to do with the ball, Rod? <laughs> put it on the ground. You never put it down by your ankles. Come on. Put it down, and the little Nats got their hands on it. All right, a little sloppy here. Stonebridge turns it over. Hey, look, there's Dr. Ashton. And here comes Dawson. He'll pump a three. Too strong. Clyde almost with the rebound. Still loose. And here comes Hunter Mark. Up to court to Thomas. Jacob Thomas up and good. And just like that, it's 18 to 17. If 
Vikings still with maintaining a lead, but slim margin. Dawson That's from the top of the key, no good. A little Rebound bit on the stone bridge. And here comes Hunterbach. Long pass. Wide open on the baseline again. Doesn't take it. Yeah, he didn't like that. For I don't some know reason. why he didn't take that. Yeah, it's short as three you can get. Nice floater. And Dawson is not happy, and I don't blame him. They run off no. seven straight points. Yep. The Valley takes their first timeout. Update your info here. You got yeah, still only one foul between the two teams with just over six minutes remaining. And we'll run another quick ad for one of our sponsors what, what was here. It? Was it 18 to 13? Uh, yeah, at the quarter, yeah. All right, so they're on a 6-0 yep. run. Yep, 6-0 run. Start things off. All right, so to read a couple more sponsors before we come back to the action, PMA Insurance at www.pmabenefits.com. PMA Insurance is a full-service independent insurance agency which provides business, home, and auto, and life, and health coverage. PMA Insurance Services, your interests come first. You know anybody over at that PMA Insurance place, Rod? Oh, uh, maybe one or two people. All right, here comes <laughs> Trent Dost up the court. He drives it to the lane. He yeah, thought just, he was fouled. They're not calling fouls there at all. There was definite contact on the body. They don't yep. call anything again. Uh, they, they've, they've been letting them play. There's been one There's foul called in this game. Literally one foul, yep. But, I mean, the players aren't getting out of control, so they're not <laughs> letting them play. Well, they did say the concession stand is closing early. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to affect the players too much. <laughs> Maybe the referee the rest are hungry. Gonna, I got you. I got you. Got you. Yeah, <laughs> get to the half. Get some food. <laughs> they did start pretty early. They started this game at 7, so. All right, there's Obeyed. He drives. Oh, he's got oh, Cooper no. all oh, alone. Couldn't he couldn't handle it. Shoot it. There got we go. It. Into the game, knocking it down is John Santmeyer. Wow. Santmeyer, the sophomore, just in the game and knocks down a three. <laughs> Good way to start for young, young Mr. Santmeyer. That's Bam Bam, isn't it? That is Bam Bam. Bam. Oh, and counter. But now his dad calls him. Isaiah Rhodes counter him right back for the for the Bulldogs. So 19 to tw oh, 21. Tw what the heck? Why am I off? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. That's why. Well, good defense there. Back to Santmeyer. He'll look it around. Good to see the sophomore getting a little playing time here. Ball kicks it back to Dawson. And they look, don't call we got a foul call. Finally <laughs> I think he ran over the pick and they called him for they it. They finally <laughs> did call something. <laughs> Had to call that one. <laughs> that looked like a. Uh, Looked like a running back move there. Just bowl over that pick. Well, they got the second <laughs> foul call of the contest. <laughs> I think the fans called that one. All right, Dawson Trent, a little too good rebound it. by Cooper. Put it up, Coop. There it is. There we go. Puts it back up and in. Tunnel to now. They're close. All right. It's not an easy name to pronounce when you're just looking at it. Stonebridge now into the game for Stonebridge number 44. I don't have him on my sheet either. That Nance with the rebound. Who's shooting that? Who shot no that? No good there. Nance. Who shot that? that? Was that Sandmeyer? No, it was uh, Dawson. No, eleven Zion Ball. Oh, the four just made it. All right, there's Rhodes. I was trying to find number forty-four. Don't know who he is for Stonebridge. Sorry. All right, maybe we can find out at halftime. All right, here comes Dawson again. There's contact. Nothing called. In the corner of Santmeyer. No oh, good. A little off on that one. No good. Throws up the air ball. Stonebridge down, and they'll take it. Oh, they fake the three. Goes right by him. Over to 13. There's the unknown man. We don't know who he is. <laughs> Obeyed on the outlet pass from Dawson. What a good look that there from nice Trent look. Dawson. And Obeyed puts it up and in. Wide open three again, but they're not taking it. Kicks it over around to work it around. Double team. Splits it. Jumper, no good. Rebound, no good. Another rebound, up and good. 
That's Michael Healy. Two offensive boards there for Stonebridge. And they have a 26-25 lead. They're hanging tough, Rod. Right? Yeah, they are. I think my score is Dawson, off, but... high there screen. Go. Good. That was a three-pointer. All right. Cooper with the high screen. D Dawson comes off of it and knocks down the three. And that's Isaiah Rhodes. Jeez. And he answers the Dawson three <laughs> just like he did earlier. Can't keep up. Same thing we saw about two minutes ago. All right, I'm behind on this. I'm trying to keep up. Yeah, two I don't know how you're going to keep up with this. There's Sheesh. a lot going on. I'm not. That's the problem. And they finally call another foul. Now they call the hand guard. A little hand check there. Hagler, number five again. Third team foul, number five. Yep. Okay. That was Jalen Hagler. Right. And Cooper Tunnell will get a rest. Clyde Volker comes back in. So up front now, they're going to go with Volker and Obeyed. And then they got... Three guards out there. Well, Nance, Dawson, down oh, low, nice obeyed. Oh, we Another got it. good look from Dawson. Yeah, that Great was. pass. And obeyed. Oh, that was a Volk. Um, that was Volker. That was Volker. Yeah. It was Volker. I don't know who I put. I put obeyed. I put Volker. Well, did you have it right? I, I thought it, I thought it was obeyed. Who got it was obeyed. I think it was obeyed. I think you're right. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was obeyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I put obeyed down. Not that it's really going to matter. We're not exactly having the uh, most accurate stats. I'm keeping up pretty well tonight, but still, it's pretty tough. <laughs> That's okay. So are we. All right. Okay. So you'll see in the lower right of your screen as uh, we roll along the stats for the individual players. Those will actually keep updated somewhat. If I get a chance to update them. Turns There's it over. Here steal. comes you. Oh, he's Nance. And there's a lot of contact. And there's still no wow. foul called. <laughs> Somebody just fouled their own number player. 20. Uh, we don't have a number 20 either, Rod. Jeez, he's not on that one? Nope. Don't have a number 20. All right, we got a couple numbers to find out at halftime. 44 and 20. We'll, uh, we'll ask one of the Stonebridge uh, coaches or something. All right, his own player almost took him out. Jacob Thomas will kick it all the way across to Rhodes. Rhodes is definitely a three-point threat. They'll kick it back to Jacob Thomas. It's down to a minute 40 to go in the half. Rhodes back to Jerome. Little pressure by Nance. Kicks it over to Rhodes. And, oh, nice pass. Right down low, Michael Healy. Beautiful feed that time. Yeah, it was a nice pass. Who was Dawson the, who goes was by his man very easily. And that time it's Clyde Volker. Right. Dawson to Volker. Beautiful pass once again by Dawson. Valley trying to play a little tighter man defense now, getting a little loose. It's a bad pass, but he drives right down the middle. Up and good. Jacob Thomas, the sophomore, just drives right down the throat of the Valley defense, lays it up, and he's fouled. Who's that foul on? Did you see, Bill? There you go, 33. Cole Tunnell. <laughs> Thank you. On the foul. Ah. Free throw, oh, no yeah. good. Rebound by Tunnell. 33 on rebound. Got it. Thank you. All right, down to a minute. And Dawson will slow it down. It's 33-32, Stonebridge. As the game has opened up. You know, you and I, Rod, always say that Valley likes to play that fast-paced transitional game. Yeah, they but Stonebridge do. can play right with them. Yeah, Stonebridge is definitely staying with them. And Valley hasn't gone into their press at all tonight either. Which is uh, probably a testament to Stonebridge's ball handling. Well, they, they put four small guys out there to start out. They let it be known they're going to run the ball. Yep. And they've been running. Well, and I don't think, I mean, the biggest lead of this game has been about, what, five points? Tight Nance the goes way. right by his man and does not and get it, but he gets the foul. He picks up the foul with 18 seconds to go. Yeah. Yeah, the defender actually had position, but then he just sort of fell rather Fouls than. Fouls on four roads. Yeah, thank you. 
Coach Kling not Good happy with that call. Well, the problem was he was there and set, but then he just sort of fell before he had contact. If he had stayed upright and let Nance run into him, he would have probably gotten the charge. But well, they could have he, caught a foul out here on the top of the – up by the free – that well, yeah, yeah. He was getting mauled up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That was a Shashevsky He goes one flop. of two. Does Nancy misses the second one. And now Stonebridge will hold for the last shot and a chance to go into halftime with the lead, Rod. Yep, six seconds left. And they throw it away. Out of bounds. <laughs> they throw Four it away. Four seconds. <laughs> so they won't get the last shot. Full court pressure by Stonebridge. All right, four seconds. Yeah, full court pressure. What'd they call? Oh, he pushed him. He pushed him out of bounds and picked up a foul. <laughs> but they're not in the penalty. It's not going to hurt him. Foul on the clock. The clock didn't tick off, so they still got three seconds. Who did they call foul on? They called. I don't know what number. I don't know. I don't know who the foul was on. That's right. But he definitely pushed him out of bounds. All right, so three seconds left. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, what are we doing here? I think we need a shot off. That is well short. All right, so we'll go into halftime all, all right. tied up at 33. That was a very sloppy last 20 seconds. That <laughs> was. That was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to... You got any replays or anything? Uh, I haven't had a chance to do any replays. Are those replays. stats anywhere near problem. being close? The stats will be close. We'll get those up here. And give it a second. We'll pop those up. Huh? We'll pop the stats up here momentarily. Let All right. run through. we got to find and out we'll who number 20 to, uh, and number 44 are. Yeah. Yep. You going to handle the stats? Uh, yeah. We'll run, I'll throw, run through the stats. You want to go see who 20 and 44 are? And uh, here you go. Here's your halftime stats. Uh, so Valley 47% from the floor, Stonebridge 67%. So shooting quite a bit better. But it's flip-flopped on three points with Valley at 60 and Stonebridge at 38. Not very many fouls. Turnovers are five for Valley, only two for Stonebridge. Uh, Dawson with three assists and only one block in the game. You can see for Stonebridge, uh, Rhodes and Thomas leading the way with 10. Healy and Jerome with six, seven and six, respectively. Dawson, unsurprisingly, with 13 for the Vikes, followed by Volker with six, Nance five, Santmeyer with his three-pointer, Cooper and Obeyed both with two. Now, the one thing I got to tell you, I know you're doing the best you can, yeah. but I feel like my man Trent Dawson has a little more than three assists. I could be wrong. Uh, it's, he's it's had very, some nice he's had Assists some nice are very hard for me to credit. Yeah. <laughs> Because I have nice to beats. get the bucket in first, and then I have to figure out who made the pass. And then you ask so. me who made the pass, and I'll tell you I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We exactly. do know one thing. It's 33-33. It is 33-33. All right. And what's uh, what's Hunter Mark's first name? It is Dylan. D-Y-L-A-N. Okay. All right. You want to run any kind of thing exciting at halftime? Uh, no. We're pretty much just going to show some ads. No ad. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you had some uh, commercials. I'm going to go I do have mute. a couple commercials, yeah. I'm going to go try to get some information on these players. Okay. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to show a couple commercials. We'll be back in a bit. Hi, welcome to Loudon Valley Floors. We are an independently owned company founded in 1991, and we have two showrooms, one in Ashburn and one in Percival. Our motto is honesty, integrity, and punctuality, and we strive to deliver exceptional service based on our motto. We want to make sure that we give honest advice based on your needs and not just what we think that you should have in your home. We have an incredible selection of products from leading manufacturers in carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl plank, everything that you can think of. We run our company with the same family values as when we started in 1991 and our referrals and reputation certainly reflect that. We are the recipient of the best of Loudon for flooring and carpet care for the last 14 years running. So we hope you'll come see us.
So we've been here for 20 years. I've seen kids grow up and see their kids, and it, it's just been really enjoyable. We are not like a corporate dentistry. When, right when you walk in, you're gonna feel welcome. We care about our patients, and, and they see it, and that's, I think, the reason that we've grown to the size that we have. We really care about educating our patient. We wanna show them exactly what we're doing. We want them to own it and to be interested and to be proud of what we're doing for them. So we get to show them on the screen exactly what we're doing and how we're gonna care for them. It's not a mystery, but we really pride ourselves on letting people know exactly what we're doing for them. Each step that Dr. Ashton took me on, he not only made certain that I was comfortable with what was going on, it was pain-free. One of the great things about doing dentistry here is we're able to change lives. Sometimes people come in, they're extremely anxious, and they're nervous and they, they don't know what they want but they know they need something. And we really embrace those patients. We want to make a difference in their lives. When I came into the office, I didn't have a smile. Um, when I smiled, I typically put my hand over my mouth. Now my only complaint is my face muscles hurt because I'm smiling so much. Dr. Ashton gave me my life back and he gave me my smile. Cosmetic dentistry is a really neat thing that we can do here. It's not just about slapping on veneers or making them look artificial. We want it to be as natural as possible. It's a life changer. Um, I, I, I have dealt with dental issues for 25 years of my life. I have no more dental issues. I, don't, I, I brush them, I water pick them, and I go. But that's the biggest thing, just the confidence of, of you know having had it done and and it looks great and it feels good and, and it's like they're they're my teeth, you know, and they are. I mean, you know, there there's no problems at all and I feel very confident and comfortable with them. We want patients to leave here feeling totally comfortable and that's what it's all about.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Stonebridge. Again, my name is Bill Russatella. With me, as always, Rod Ogren. Getting ready to start the second half. First half, you know, we thought coming in here that, uh, I got to tell you, we figured Valley would win this game. And they still might win this game, but they are in for a dog fight. Oh, yes, they are. A bulldog fight, no less. <laughs> a bulldog fight. Nice. <laughs> nice. So we're all knotted up here at 33. And uh, Stonebridge definitely has the speed to play the transition game. So they can run with Valley, that's for sure. Yeah, they can. It's been a fun game. Bulldogs will start with the ball. And that's number one, Dylan Hundermark, the sophomore, bring into the front court. And he hands off to another sophomore, Jacob Thomas, a young squad here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, they got a few youngsters so, out there. So they got a bright future. Oops. There goes a. Uh, there is Kathy Hester oh, yeah. on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> one of our sponsors getting some airtime. <laughs> Kathy sells Loudon. <laughs> there she is. What have they? Turnover of some sort? Gavin Harvey. <laughs> I didn't see what happened. What happened? They threw it away? Yeah, uh, they threw it away, I think. All right. So out there for Valley now is Ball. And that's Trent Dawson. He's got Clyde Volker. Cooper to now. Cooper with, cannot get the offensive board. Um, and Cooper's lucky he didn't get called for a foul. Um, definite contact there. No call. And Cooper, like I said, lucky he didn't get called for a foul on that one, Rod. All right. Well, it's a good thing. We didn't need – they've been really – they've been calling too many fouls, so not terribly surprised. So the starting five is out there. Uh, and now I see uh, there is Dr. Ashton right here, our newest sponsor right yeah, in front of us down I there. Yeah, I saw him down there. Cardinal Park Family Dental. Hey, he had the, he had the big ad at halftime. Kathy Hessler-Holmes just went by. Got all our sponsors up here. And Healy knocks down a three. And Stonebridge jumps out on top, 36-33. Yep. Yes, it is. Tight matchup here. Dawson will try to answer. His three is short. Rebound is by Healy. They run it up again. Great defense by Obeyed. But he was out of bounds when he gathered that rebound. But good hustle there by the senior, Umer Obeyed. Wide open three. Bang. Michael Healy knocks down Healy another again, three. Healy again, a steal. And they turn it over, and Dawson, Coach Dawson, is going to be a little bit upset here, Rod. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> That's a wild shot by Trent. Oh, I see them off here. And I think they need a timeout. They're out of sync. They're all out of whack here. <clears throat> oh, my God. Wow. Hunter Mark goes up into the big man, draws the body contact from Tanell, draws the foul, and lays it up and in a reverse layup. Oh, they call and there's it on, they the call time it we were waiting for. Dawson with the time, yep. Wow. And Dawson has his hands full right now. It's 41-33. Yes, 41-33, my score is way off. What is going on Seven un oh, Eight see. unanswered by the Bulldogs, and they're going to the line, the sophomore, to try to convert the three-point play. Yeah, my score is way off, and I you don't know replace? why. Yeah, my score is way off. I'm trying to fix it, so hang on. 41-33. What is going on here? What have I done? I don't know. It's all messed up. Nah, all you right. figure it out. <laughs> all right, that's right. 33. And here is Dylan Hunnamark. Free throw is up there and nothing go. but net. 42-33, Stonebridge. Dawson brings it up into the front court. Kicks it over to Avery Nance. Screen by Tennell. 
Another screen by Tanel for Trent. Trent backs it up. Offense looks a little stale. Jumper by Nance, no good. Over the back, it's not a foul, but you know, he did draw some <laughs> contact with draw the body. Contact. So they call the foul on Cole Tanel, number 33. All right. Another empty trip for the Viking offense. Hunter Mark brings it up. He's one-on-one -on -one with Dawson. Defense, oh, backdoor cut. Got to be offensive oh, that's foul. That's got to be something. Wow, I can't believe oh they call that. Oh, my God. Got to call something on that. Another three, Michael Jerome. They don't call the offensive foul. Dawson, up, no good. Rebound, oh, there's another there's foul. foul. You got to call that one. Jeez. That foul is on yeah, number is hot on that one. 13. Michael Jerome. <clears throat> I don't know how there wasn't a foul over here. Yeah, I don't know. They had to call something. <laughs> I mean, it looked I like mean, a charge. Either a charge or a had to call something. charge or a block. But that was an awful lot of contact for no call. Valley still has not scored here in the second half. No, they haven't. They're struggling to get good shots here. Now Stonebridge tightens up the man-to-man. -man. Dawson goes down the lane, draws contact. And got it. And he gets the call this time. Draws the contact, bucket is good, and he'll try to convert the three-point play. All right, so Vikes trying to cut it under 10 here, if Dawson can convert. Free throw is good, 45-36. Forty-five, thirty-six. Yeah, I know. I just got to get that free throw. Three-pointer, short. A bomb. Isaiah Rhodes was feeling it. Not the best shot. No. Dawson over to Ball. Ball up too long. Cole Tunnell with the board. Cooper Tunnell can't grab it. They triple team him. <laughs> they got a wide open lane, but they see it. They didn't see it. Hunter Mark for three. Too strong. Good defensive board there by Cooper. Here comes Trent. He'll try to push it. He's got Zion Ball. He takes it himself. No good. Another good rebound there by Cole Tunnell, but Dawson draws the contact again. Clyde Volker going to check in. Dawson's going to go back to the line. Two shots for this, so he can't cut it to seven if he hits both of these. Got it. Free throw is good. 45-37. The Vikings will shoot free throws all day long with the clock stop. Yeah, it's a lot easier that way. Dawson's second one is up, and it's good. Got it. 45-38. Cole Tunnell steps out into the game is Clyde Volker. I'm sorry, Cooper Tunnell comes out. I think I said Cole, maybe. So yeah, Cole's still out there with Volker and Zion Ball. Then they got Dawson and Avery Nance up top. Ooh, man, what happened underneath? Can't hit him, though. Playing some tight man-to-man -man now, the Vikings are. Yeah, they're really clamping down, trying to clamp down on defense They here. are clamping down now. Good defense here by the Vikings. Ooh, almost a steal by Ball. Oh, nice passing by the... Stonebridge and a oh, foul man. and a block. Wow. That was a nice, nice ball movement by the Great Bulldogs eight. there. That was very impressive. Because Valley was all over them yeah, on they defense. Were. Yep. And they found the open cutter. And he drew the contact. And who's the foul on Dawson? That was on Dawson, yeah. I think three point play is good. Just like that, it's back to a ten point lead. Dawson leaning into All it, right. got it. Dawson hits, what's the free throw? What's that, about 15 feet? Yeah, that was about a, yeah, 15 footer. In the corner for another three. That guy can shoot it. Isaiah Rhodes is a shooter. Yeah, they're, uh, they're draining He's got about threes five here. threes, that kid, doesn't he? He's got 10 points. 13 oh, well, points five now. Threes, then. He's got 13 mm -hmm. points. Well, your stats <laughs> could be wrong. <laughs> no, they're never wrong. 
<laughs> He's got at least three threes. No, these high speed high speed games. Oh, off the mark with rebound. Nice rebound by Cole Tunnell. That, that kick nice and rebound. Board. That was a nice He's rebound. He's tough inside, number 33. Cole's a sophomore, isn't he? He's a junior now? All right. Oh, no. Oh, and they gave it right back. Well, they turned it over. Back-to-back <laughs> -back turnover. That was some sloppy play right there. That was there. really sloppy. Oh. So Nance inbounded the ball. No, it was ball. Cole wasn't looking. All right. Nice look. Nice. Another good feed. That's an assist. That was beautiful. That's an assist by Trent Dawson. All right. Thank you, sir. Clyde Volker on the hoop. Yep. Yeah, one, calling three, out the one. assist definitely helps me a lot. Vikings <laughs> go into a 1-3-1. Okay. See if this works. Trying to keep some ball pressure without... Opening up too much underneath. Opens up corner three, which is... Oh, my God. In. Michael yeah, Healy hits hitting. the three. They're in trouble. Yeah, they're the lead is out to 12. 54-42 now. Foul is on Cole Tunnell. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of a weird, weird looking foul. The defender wasn't even uh, standing up. Cooper will check in for his younger brother, Cole. And Valley looks a little uncomfortable on offense. And they're going to stay. Let's see what they're going to do. They're going to be in this 1-3. One, one, now they're in a 2-3, it looks like now. And yeah, there's a foul on the uh, Foul on ball. the floor, no shot. Foul is on Zion Ball. <laughs> Nance checks back in for Ball. Down to two minutes and 12 seconds. Another corner three. No good. Off Clyde the rebound. Gets it. And look at that. Stonebridge back on defense. Dawson out of control. Valley takes a time. That'll be there. And Dawson gets the timeout. They only have two left now, I believe. You have any replays? I think I do have one, but well, we can do a sponsor. Not going to be quite ready, so do a sponsor. Yeah. All right. Once again, Statstream here. Statstream.biz. Want to thank all of our sponsors, beginning with Gold Athletics. You want to do some fundraising? They raise the bar so you can raise the money for your local high schools. Gold Athletics. Dot net Velocity Wings VelocityWings.net Six family friendly Virginia locations of course Downtown Percival Home of the best wings in Percival Velocity Wings Valley Energy ValleyEnergy.org Valley Energy is the smart choice for all of your propane, diesel fuel and heating oil needs Mannix HVAC MannixHVAC.com If a problem occurs with your heating or cooling system Rod, don't panic. Call Mannix. Call Mannix. Lydia Clark Realty. Lydia sells Loudon.com. We have the Percival Pub. PercivalPub.com. Known for the cozy atmosphere. Opened up just some of the hottest spot in town. The Percival Pub. Loudon Valley Floor since 1991. For all your flooring needs. Needs Kathy Hessler Homes. Kathy Hessler sells Loudon. She's here tonight. Boy Sports. Walker drops one Loco in. Loco Sports. PMA Insurance, Climatic, and Cardinal Park Family Dental. All right. Clyde Volker drops one in for the Vikes. Volker got a bucket. it back to a 10-point game. It's yep. a 10-point game still, though. No call. Yeah, they're really letting him play tonight. And they're going to run a little clock. Pass. Look at Stonebridge. A little backdoor cut there. Oh. This kid will shoot it. And with a 10-point lead, and there's a charge. All right, Nance draws the foul nicely. All right, so they call the offensive foul there on Rhodes, on right? Rhodes, yep. All right. Down to a minute 24 to go 
right. in the third. Oh, I know why. Still a 10-point okay. lead for Stonebridge. Nance gave it to Obeyed. Run a little weave up top. Another high screen from Tanell. Dawson goes right down the lane. Can't connect. Cannot convert. Easy layup, and he can't knock it down. Yep. Foul Another nice high screen there from Tanell. The big body opens up just enough room, and Dawson takes advantage of it. Yep. Got to knock these down. That's, That's the, the third free throw I've seen him hit off the front rim. Yeah, he's <laughs> just dropped going over. in. <laughs> going in. Cuts the lead to nine. Minute eight to play here in the third. Dawson's second free throw. Hits the front rim. Drops down Got again. Again, yeah, he's there. They're That's rolling his style. in. So, you know. 54-46. All right. Come on. Down to eight. Bad. Oh, Claude almost picked it off. Nice defense there by Obeyed. And we said it earlier, but Stonebridge, really impressive passing the basketball. Yeah, they really have been. Moving the ball right around quickly. Very unselfish team. Ball leaves their hands pretty quickly. Yeah, they, they look pretty good out here. It's just like watching my fifth grade team. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I think I get to ref your fifth grade team this weekend. Oh, 1 o'clock tomorrow, on Saturday. 1 o'clock on what? where are you? Uh, we're at Emmerich, though. Oh, you're at Emmerich? Okay. I don't ref you then. You're not there, are you? No, I'm at, uh, I'm at Colbert. Oh, Nance. You couldn't Man, grab nice that? Nice save, yep. He couldn't jump up and get that? Apparently not. <laughs> what? Oh man, no shot clock. So they're gonna hold for the Down last to shot. Eight seconds. Oh, oh my, my goodness! Lord. Wow! Oh my! That was not a good wow. shot, but Michael it went Jerome, in. Michael Jerome, and that's the way this game has been going. Man, yes it is. Wow! The ball fake creates a little, <laughs> gets an open shot. Yeah, but that was a 25-footer. I mean, that was a But the bomb. ball fake to get open, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? It, yeah, got Man. the guy in the air and then just stepped to the left and knocked it down. Wow. 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 All right. Uh, like 8 or 12, but that was early in the season. They lost the county by, by 8. But that was like the Bulldogs second game of the season. Bulldogs coming in so here, six and two. Both squads, six and two. Yeah, yeah. Do you have replays? Seven forty-six. Uh, I'll get the stats rolling, and then I think I have a couple of. Once again, I, I want to before you. we get you got some stats. I want to thank our two newest sponsors. Yeah. Climatic, HVAC, Climatic, Virginia.com, for all your HVAC needs, and Cardinal Park Family Dental, Doctor Gary Ashton. Looking for experienced general dentistry, passionate about helping your family? I told you earlier, Rod, I'm going to take my family to Cardinal Park Family Dental. Okay, you should, Bill. They're a good place. We've been there, going there for years. All right. So Valley with a 13. Right, what do they got? 11-point deficit staring them in the face. And they'll start off with possession of the basketball. Chris Johnson keeps calling me. He knows I'm announcing the game. He was just here two seconds ago. <laughs> he loves you, Bill. Oh, in and out. Good rebound by Obeyed. Can't get it Can't to get go. It ball. And that's typical. Just ball is not dropping. Yeah, it's just not. Yep. Who shot the first one? Obeyed got his own rebound. The very okay. first one? Yeah. I'm not sure if Obeyed. Oh, the Daw Dawson shot the first one. Okay. There's a break there for Valley. Throw it away. So Valley down 11. I mean, there's plenty of time. They can come back, but they got to start hitting some of these shots. And. Yep. Oh, you were on mute. <laughs> 
All right, inside to Tanel. Now we're getting out of the calling a couple of fouls. That looks like it's and on it's 22, a tie up, maybe. And they're going to call a foul there. And that'll yeah, be. on 22, Luke Hughes. That's the seventh team foul. Yep. So Coop will go to the line for one and one. Yeah, all right. Now this becomes pretty critical. you got to hit these. Oh, ugly on the first one. What happened? He missed it? He, Yeah, that was not pretty. I heard you groan over here. Yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> the Bulldogs go back to All work right. on offense. In no hurry. There's a foul on Nance. Uh, is that Nance? So the game has slowed Nance, down. Yeah. Yeah, when they're up 11, they can afford to. So that brings... Six team, okay. Oops. Man, look at that passing. Wow, down low, Healy just gets a layup uncontested. They move the ball around, lose defensive uh, responsibility. Vikings are getting Outplayed there. here in all phases, Rod. Yeah, now they're getting now they're calling fouls all over the place. <laughs> the Q's with his second quick foul as Dawson will go to the line now. Now we've seen this before too. On, you know, this is the time of the game where I feel like Trent's going to try to take over by himself now because they got a large deficit. Yeah, but and nobody else is really scoring. So. I, I know, I know, but you know. I understand his mindset. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. But tough to do. But the other team is sharing the ball over the place. Yes. He's at at least 26. Yeah. Dawson misses the second one. And it's a 12-point Bulldog lead. Coming to the front court. This kid is good. This Hunter Mark. Stay, stay with. Yeah, they do a nice job of sharing the ball around. We'll try to get their uh, stats updated and see how many how many different players have scored and what the distribution is. But I'm guessing it's a lot more balanced than Valley's was. All right, now we got a timeout, so we will show you those momentarily. Here, I'll see if I can bring you a replay. This is from. You got a replay? I do. I don't think it's a very exciting one, but it is a replay. Right. I believe this is like a Stonebridge three-pointer from earlier on in the game. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Yeah, okay. So this is the uh, 25 feet out. There's a nice fake and drains it. That was right at the end of the half, I believe. Yep, that was the win at halftime. A nice looking three pointer there by the Bulldogs. And now our stats are updated. So you can kind of get some idea. So yeah, look at the, look at them. They got four players in double figures and Hunter Mark with three. The Vikes have only two in double figures. Dawson with 26. He got 18, 13, 13, and 12. 18, 13, 13, and 12. Yep. yep. So they're doing a nice job of oh, just yeah. distributing and letting lots of people score. Multiple weapons out here for the Bulldogs are giving the, giving the Vikings fits. All right. Now the uh, Bulldogs run a little clock. Valley has not been able to stop them all night. And they are going to need to get a few stops here, that's for sure. Yeah, and Bulldogs are not going to be in any hurry. I mean, there's about six minutes left, but they're content to just kind of work it around the perimeter, wait for an opening, and work it inside. Bikes are going to have Double to do a little team trapping. In the corner, there you go. There's and they a trap. call a timeout. Okay. Timeout. Stonebridge as they number 13 was in all left. kinds of trouble. Jerome had Tunnell and I think Volker swarming him. <laughs> he was in a world of trouble. I'm but showing the coach him down called the, the timeout. I'm showing him down to two timeouts left, but it's not on the scoreboard, so it's hard for me to verify. The uh, foul count is actually correct. So the Vikes, will, or the Stumbridge will be in the bonus at the next foul for the Vikes. Yep, yep. Eight fouls for Stonebridge and six for Valley. Five minutes and 32 seconds to go. And it is 59 to 47, Stonebridge. Both teams again coming in at six and two. Valley is not out of it, but they're going to have to go on quite a defensive run here, and they have not been able to slow down this offense. Yep, and here's another replay from earlier. 
This was just some nice ball movement by Stonebridge as they work it around. So yeah, you see that three, three That's quick a perfect passes. example of the passing yeah. right there. Yep. Pass, pass, easy bucket. Yep. Pass gets good, and they call the foul. Yep, and they call the foul. And that's just what's been going on all night right there. Yep, yes it is. So Stonebridge very much in control, five and a half minutes left. Once again, the Stonebridge team is young, too. Don't forget about that. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, Valley about three or four years ago when they had they basically had an, almost an entire lineup of sophomores right, so out to there. Now, and just like that, we got a new face for Valley out there. Number 23 is Aris Ayuk. Is that how you say his name? And another bucket there by Jacob Thomas. Yep, went straight to the hole, and no one could stop him. And they and throw Valley it away. throws it away. So into the game is a junior there. Is it Aris Ayuk? Is that his name? I have no idea. Hey, what's what number? Ayuk, yeah, I'd say Ayuk. Look at Hunterbach going right through. Oh, already. Yeah, that Ooh. wasn't a bad pass. Nope, I thought he was going to look, look high, at this passing. Yeah. Wide open jumper. No good. Off the mark. Cooper with the rebound. Here comes Dawson. All right, he knocks down the, the floater. And that'll bring it back to a 12-point deficit. Yep. Kind of what it's been at for most of the second half, it feels like. Yep. About 10 points. Man-to-man -man defense. Got to put a little more pressure on the ball. Yeah. Dawson I mean, is hobbling a little bit. Hunter Mark goes right by him. Hunter Mark a little out of control on that one, but Dawson got away with it. Dawson is limping. He's limping. He's got one foot. Yeah, he's <coughs> definitely limping. He's definitely limping. Something bothered him on that last drive. Look at this. They're just playing with him now. And into the game is going to be another number zero. Calavocus is going to come in and give him more speed. Yeah. <laughs> And they're just and running some the clock. Fouls. Yeah, they're going to have to start fouling here soon. This is, this is a problem with no shot clock. Teams can just kind of work the ball around forever. There's a foul. Yeah. Yep. But even when Valley does it, it's I don't, it just, you just don't like to see that kind of stall ball. That's why they and put in the shot clock to begin Calavocus with. Calavocus will check in, and Nance will come out. It looks like Thomas at the line. Jacob Thomas at the line. Is now a little too strong. One and one. Oh, they don't get the board. They don't get the board, nope. Rod. Nope. That's a killer. Hunter Mark, what a dish. Nice pass. What a dish to Michael Healy. <clears throat> that number one can play, too. Yes, he can. And that was Aris Ayuk. We're going to go with Ayuk. So Ayuk at the line. And got number the first 23, one. yep, he makes the yeah. first one. And banks the he second banks one in. in the second one. <laughs> to show hey, as long as it goes off. in. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to show all his shots off at one time, Rod. That one tip of the line. <laughs> Let's see. We got a swish and we got a bank. <laughs> all right. Still down by 12. <laughs> yep. It keeps hovering, you know, 10 to Well, they can't, they can't get a stop. No. They can't they get a can't. stop. They can't. And Stonebridge Full taking court the time pressure. with it. What do we got? Oh, okay. They little over and back there. Over and back. Nice. Yep. <laughs> so his Hunter momentum carried him into the back turn over. Yeah, but if he established in the front, it doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Valley with a chance to cut into this 12-point lead. Dawson, top of the key. Down to Drives down. Floater up. Got good. it. Got to have full court pressure again. There's the trap, but he they breaks forgot. it. Nice pass. They're too slow on the trap. They forgot about the full court pressure. Yep. yep. Give up yep. an easy transition bucket. Got to get stops. 
Good board there by Ayuk. Back to Dawson. And they call a push there. They're calling everything now, Rod. You said it. Yeah, they are. And it's weird. They started calling them in the fourth quarter. Like, But it's impossible to cut know. into a lead when you can't get a stop. Yep. Yep. All right. Dawson back to the line. 3.07 remaining. It's a lot of points and not a lot of time. Dawson drops in the first. First one is up and good by Dawson. Yep, see if we can cut it to 10 here. But again, they're going to have to have some stops and have them quick. Second one is good. Now you got to set up the pressure. There you go. And goes right by him. Round yep. his back. Hunter Mark. All the way. And he and throws, it, throws away. it away. All right, Clyde, there push we it. Go. Three on one break. Ayuk, up. Good. All right. Cut it to eight. Timeout. Timeout. Stonebridge. Okay, quick timeout for Stonebridge there. Uh, Stonebridge takes a timeout. I believe they only have one left. And let's see if what's I have the, another replay the for here? you. I don't know. Okay, the clock was still ticking. Okay. Okay, okay six seconds. Okay. So they got to reset the clock. After the timeout was called, six seconds um, took off. The Valley fans are getting heated in here. That's Dawson's layup there. I'm looking over here at Glenn Hessler. He's getting ready to charge out on the court. Yeah, so that's that's the typical. All right, so here you go. Here's a replay of here, Bill. So this is kind of the story of the game. Dawson takes it himself, makes the bucket, but Stonebridge well, quickly back, goes the other gets, way. Watch. Yeah, yep. well, well, quickly Dawson, goes the other way. To, he, forgot to he forgot the trap. Breaks the trap. They didn't get in there in time. Yep. Hmm. And cleans it up. So that's kind of been the story of the game here tonight. And that's why Valley wasn't pressing earlier. They realized Stonebridge is, Stonebridge is pretty quick. But uh, now they're kind of forced to, and uh, so far not working too well. So a diamond and one press in effect. As Stonebridge gets it in, almost a walk there. As the Valley faithful were crying for one, but couldn't get it. Stonebridge brings it into the front court. <laughs> Stonebridge, long pass, and now back up front. All right, let's see and what Valley's, happens now. Valley's going to have to start A little bit young. Here. They could get a little nervous here, Rod. Pass yeah. it around. Throw Good, that nice one away. Nope, Save it. There. Oh, they saved it. Another good look there. And, and now they're well running some clock. Passes. Okay. All right. Valley may have to start fouling here force Stonebridge or make some free throws. They're just working it around. That was tipped. There we there go. We go. Steal by. Steal. All right. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. They can cut it to five. Two minutes, 17 seconds as the Bulldogs turn it over. Valley needs a bucket. Volker on the perimeter. Ball. Looks inside the coop. Gets it inside the Cooper. Tunnell. Turn around jumper. Got good. it. Tunnell with a little jumper. And the lead is down to six. Here comes Full the court press pressure. again. Oh, he's breaking the trap nicely. Could have been over and back right there. Oh, right down oh, the middle. nice. That was a backbreaker. Yep, yes it was. They gave up the transition bucket. Back to eight. Here he is three. Underneath, oh, and Tunnell's out of bounds. Oh, uh, no. A couple uh, of things going wrong there for the Vikings, Rod. Yep. Ball comes in. What do we got here? Volker getting a little heated now. I didn't quite see what happened there. See if we can pick it up on a replay. Volker's very upset. I think coach, either ref needs to sit him down or the coach needs to pull him out because he is fired up. I don't know what about. Let's see if I can pick it up on a replay. As the refs have to maintain control of this one. All right, here's a replay. Had to go each way. Here, why? Wow, here's a replay. Uh, you can called, see Volker right here. Is he called technical on each one? Right here, this look. This kid's saying he got I'm not choked. Quite sure. Oh, look at that. What? 
Watch. 13 saying he got choked. Yeah, watch right here. Volker, I don't know what he said, but Volker just rips him down. And I'm shocked they didn't call a T right there. Wow. All right, so Volker got heated about something. He remains in the game. All right, here we go, here we go. Umbridge will check it in. And again, no problems breaking the press. Take it back out and slow it down. All right, we still got a minute That's 26. A nice did they call a technical foul or not? Uh, I think they called double technicals, but I'm not sure. So the no nobody shot? Yeah, nobody shot. Okay. Offsetting technicals. Okay. okay. So offsetting technical fouls, nobody on. shoots the technicals. Yeah, I didn't see who was on. And now there's going to be a personal foul called. Who is that on? Crowd is getting into it, as you might be able to tell. It's getting a little feisty here, Rod. Yes, it is. I didn't see the fouls on. And Isaiah Rhodes will go to the line. Senior knocks down the first one. And just like that, it's back to a nine-point lead. Yep. They had a chance to cut it to five. Minute 19 remaining. If he knocks down this one, it'll be back to that ten-point lead. Stonebridge has no one at the line now, so he's giving up the rebound. So Free throw is matter. up and good. And back to ten. <laughs> Coach Dawson giving the referee an earful right, down there. Stonebridge fans chanting scoreboard. Down by ten. Uh, there's a quick, quick now, foul. They're calling them a little tighter now. Now they're calling touch fouls. Yeah, well, after that incident, you don't, yeah. you don't want to let them go too much. So Dawson will shoot two. Makes Up and first. good. The Stonebridge student section has been given new life by the <laughs> physical play. <laughs> Their mouths yeah, are that'll, wide that'll, open. Uh, that'll usually do it. <laughs> Nothing to get some get the jungle type. Uh, Student sections fired right, up like a little physical trap, play. It's pressure. They get it in the hundred. They t okay. And timeout. Time that may. I think that's their last timeout. Is that the last timeout? I think. They're not keeping them on the scoreboard. Well, it says zero over here. Timeouts. Yeah, but they both say zero. They've been oh, saying okay. zero all game. I got you. All right. So both teams are in the double bonus at this point. So with the 10 lead and nine is cut each. to eight. When I say cut to eight, it hasn't really gotten any lower than that. No, <laughs> no it hasn't. And we're at a minute sixteen remaining. That's well, it's been closer. very entertaining, Rod. Yes, it has been. Can't been say it's all a lot of action. <laughs> been quite a good game. So I'm glad to see it. I mean, we weren't quite sure what to expect out of this thing. But Stonebridge definitely uh, coming to play. You have your pen right there. And uh, we actually did. We kind of, we got to look at uh, what happened with uh, with. All right, well, it's Volker been a pleasure earlier, to have I show you that, our Viking JV dusty. coach, Brett Bonneville, in the booth with us tonight. Yeah, that's definitely been a big help. Uh, <laughs> you can clear up that we didn't know that you know, all right. technicals that don't shoot. I learned that tonight. <laughs> well, I, I, I did know that, but I was oh, so busy. That. I was trying to figure out who uh, well, what was I going on with Volker. Number because I want to get right, a minute good 20. full court press for my fifth grade team. That's right. Minute 20 remaining. Vikings trying desperately to come back in this. And they need a foul. They're not getting it. Over to the senior. Back up top, and Stonebridge right, will run, to some, run clock. some clock. They'll run some clock again, Rod. I don't know why they're not fouling here, but maybe they well, just kind of, up. Oh, there's, they there's tried a bump, to foul another bump, and a reach. <laughs> Man, a lot of <laughs> contact, nothing. It. <laughs> and there's a foul on Dawson. <laughs> oh, I, that was almost a good steal. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I thought Obeyed fouled the little kid two or three times. I did, too. Well, he bumped him twice, and yeah. then he reached in yeah. once, and they didn't call any of Then he went around him and couldn't catch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jerome will shoot two. This is Michael Ford Jerome, Bulldogs. the kid that yeah, was in the altercation with Clyde. And he bricks that one. <laughs> Maybe his throat's hurting him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
He was after uh, he got strangled, and the replay would <laughs> show there could have been a little bit of truth to that. Yes, there was a little bit of truth to that, <laughs> but we didn't show the replay to everybody else. Oh. It's one of those, you know, when you see the fight on the oh, field, they don't show you the replay of it. All right, It'll so he fine. knocks down the second one, and the lead is back to nine. Down to 50 seconds to go. Dawson to the lane. Floater is Drops good. It in. How many is Dawson have? About 26? 26? Uh, it's got him at. Hang on, I'll update it here. 36 points for Dawson. He's got 36. <laughs> 36. Well, that's that's what I have. I'm not entirely accurate, but we'll give you the full full stats here. But if Dawson has 36, that's fully half their points. 36? Yeah. That's what I got him at, 36, it's over half their points. Yeah, the, the official stats obviously are down in the book. I do the best I can up here, but uh, 36 is a, is a good number of points. Who would show you the stats here? Yeah, see, so here's your difference. Bo Dawson with 36, the next highest is 13. Nobody else even in double figures. So they got seven players that have scored, but only two in double figures. Meanwhile, on the other side, the starters for Stonebridge, all four of the five are in double figures. Well, we got something wrong here because that's 49, 40. Oh, yeah, I know. 49. I don't have them all. 54. Today, yeah, I'm, 62. I'm short by four at least. No, you got too many. They only got 63. That adds up to 67. Yeah, I told you I'm over by four somewhere. Okay, so I'm maybe Dawson has 32. Yeah. I'm off by four somewhere, but I don't know where it was and it's hard to figure it out. Oh, wow, nice saves by Stonebridge. And then they almost throw it away. And they finally foul number three, Michael Healy. Yep, Volker with his foul. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have two extra buckets for Valley in here somewhere. But, yeah, he's over 30. Free throw is good by Michael Healy. And now this one, I think, is all over but the crying here, Rod. Yep, 71-63. So down to 32 seconds to play. Wow, well, I actually got it right. Makes him both. Second one is up and good. Another famous uh, guy in attendance over there. Dawson Another puts up a Dawson. three. Ooh, and there's, there's a, a hard foul. That's a very hard foul. I think that was a little harder than. Uh, but that's okay. They helped him up. And uh, he intended on that one. There's a famous referee over there. You're going to know who uh, ran the baseball league for a long time. Yeah, it's uh, Norris. Norris. Norris Beavers. Beavers. Norris in the Beavers. House. I saw Norris on the way in. There he's over there. <laughs> Norris so still reffing basketball. to 66. I I think he finally retired from reffing basketball. Oh, well, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> As Thomas nails the first one, 73-66 <laughs> now, with 24 seconds left. No, I'm joking. I do love Norris. Good, solid guy. Yeah. I did enjoy when he would ref my games. Not as much as when you ref my games, though, Rod. <laughs> His valley throws it away. <clears throat> I can't believe they called that foul. So down to 13 seconds here. He did the theatrical event. Yeah. Looked like he got shot by a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> so Nance with a foul, and Jerome will be at the line for two. 74-66. 14 seconds. This one is over. Jerome misses the first. All right, so 13 seconds to go. And looks like Valley is going to fall to six and three, and Stonebridge will go to seven and two. As the last shot off the mark, seriously, we don't need a foul now. That's the eleven. And the Stonebridge student section having some fun over there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's All seven right. seconds left. 
Free throw was up and good. I'm in a trance over here. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I think it was okay. good. It was good. 76-66. 76-66. A lot of points that Stonebridge has put up. Yeah, well, a lot of fouls at the end, too. Yeah. All right. See if we can get, away, get out of this game without any more fouls. And there's a turnover uh -oh. by Dawson. And oh. a throw down at the end that didn't count, but <laughs> fun nonetheless. <laughs> that bucket's no good. No, the bucket is no good. No good. No good. Yeah, that bucket was no good, <laughs> but doesn't matter. So Valley goes down for only the third time this season, 77 to 66. The Stonebridge Bulldogs holding holding serve on their home court and uh, put up quite a game against them. So we'll show you the final stats here momentarily. As soon as they come rolling through, we'll take off the scrolling stats, and we'll talk to you a little bit, and we'll close it out. I do not know what's on tap for next week. We will. I'm trying to do at least one game a week. So I'm sure we'll cover one of the Valley games and maybe one other next week. We'll see what's, see what's out there on local sports. There's your final stats. We had Dawson with 39 points. Again, that may be a little off. He started talking about a couple extra buckets, but he's certainly over 30. Volker second with 13, and no one else in double figures for the Vikes. Meanwhile, for the Bulldogs, Michael Healy kind of pulled away at the end with a lot of free throws. Wound up at 26. Jacob Thomas, 17, Jerome, 16, and Rose with 15. And Hunter Mark, the uh, little point guard, only had three points, but he did a lot of damage just by He had a lot of assists. I don't yeah. know what that says. Yeah, no, I, I only had him for one, but like I said, it's very hard to track assists yep. when you're the only one tracking. <laughs> he had, uh, so. in general, I would say Stonebridge moved the ball amazingly. Yeah. I mean, they just whipped they that thing around. Yeah, they really did. I mean, yeah. and even when they were out of control, they kept they kept getting it back. So they had very few turnovers. And we had them for eight turnovers. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's probably fairly I don't know how you keep track accurate. of that. That's almost impossible. Yeah, it's, yeah. I just try to write down. I don't, I don't really try to keep track of who did it, but yeah. usually when it turns over. I'm going to try to so, help yeah. you out a little more on that. I totally forget about that. And the steals, yeah. I mean, no, it's, it's hard. To, that's hard to. It's, it's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I try to capture what I can. And if I don't capture the individual, I try to get the team. But I see my team stats aren't showing up. So I'll have to pick, fix that as well. We didn't see Austin Blizzard tonight. I wonder if he was hurt. He's usually been playing quite a bit. So, uh, at any rate, yeah. I think that's going to do it for us here this well, let's evening. See. What else do you want to talk about? I just want to wrap up. You know, it was 33-33 at half. Yes, it's tied they up went and on a, like an 8-0 run. Yep, right off the bat. Yep, they got it out to eight, and, and they, they got just 10 kept it there just, at ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you look at the final. So Valley scored 33 both halves. Yep, and Stonebridge had 44 in the second half. So there's well, when your the third quarter started, Valley went dry, and all of a sudden it was 41-33, just like that. Remember? Yeah. Yep, they went dry, and Stonebridge was hitting everything. Um, All right, well, it's fun to know. be back here in the booth. Yeah, it was uh, fun. We didn't get to win, but hey, we're back in the saddle again. Yeah. So we're off tomorrow night. We're off tomorrow night. Uh, I do have an announcement to make. Oh, go ahead. Um, for anybody out there that wants to spread the word that's listening, we're going to see if it's possible for StatStream possibly to bring you some Valley hockey action, ice hockey. There's a Valley ice hockey team. There is. It doesn't get a lot of exposure. Yeah. Um, and they are in action now, and we'll see maybe, maybe, we can bring a little ice hockey action out there. That would be that would be fun. Yeah. All right. And then we'll catch up next week, right? Yep. Yep. We'll have at least one game next week. I'm just getting up local sports, see if I can look at that real quick. But, uh, yeah, we'll do one or two next week. Uh, I'm trying to partner with local sports a little more and do a game of the week. Okay. There really wasn't any other good games out there that were available to us. There's a couple schools that won't let us stream, so we have to kind of pick and choose. But I would like to thank the uh, Stonebridge Athletic Director, Joni Windows, for letting us come here tonight and stream this game. And as always, this game will be online uh, later on this evening. I'll try to put up some highlights, but I wasn't able to take a whole lot, so it'll mostly just be the game up there tonight and free for anyone to watch. The game will be on the Internet for eternity, Rod. For eternity. That's right. <laughs> you can watch it at your leisure. <laughs> Eternity's an awful long time. All right, let's close this out before we get too silly. You going to take us out? <laughs> I will gladly take us out. There you go. Okay. So we hope you've enjoyed our coverage of tonight's game. The highlights will be up, or excuse me, the replay will be up on statstream.biz website later on this evening under the On Demand button. Also available on YouTube under the Statstream channel. 
For my partner Bill Russatella and StatStream, this is Rod Ogren signing off. Thank you all for watching. Good night, everybody.